Hello, Reject Nation. This is Greg Alba here. Stacy O'Howard is here Hi, with guys. us. Follow her on Instagram and Twitter, people. And she's also on Miss Movies channel on YouTube. Weekly Wednesdays is what I call those segments. Yeah. Stacy, let me explain this to you. Please. A year ago, I saw these three commercials from the Philippines for a Filipino chain restaurant called Jollibee. Jollibee. Jollibee, yes. You'll find many of them in the greater San Gabriel area oh, in California. Okay. Jollibee is uh, like a fast food restaurant, and they put together these commercials that are like short films. Really? And sometimes they're incredibly emotional. Sometimes they're just loving. These are their Valentine series here. Oh, that's appropriate. And unlike a lot of other people who uh, check out these Jollibee commercials, I'm actually half Filipino. So oh. I connect with these people. Did you credit. find love at Jollibee? No, no. I found it at a, a Mexican bar. Oh. Mm -hmm. Paid good money for it. Okay. We're going to check out all three, and we're going to talk about all three today. Let's talk about this and love and life. So this first one here, Stacy, is called Status. It's my bad true story. They're probably subtitled. Matagal ko rin hinanap to. And I've spent so much time looking for love. Huh? I've gone through date after date after date. I feel that, girlfriend. Actually, I have a girlfriend. Are you on the date with her? Why? <laughs> yeah, that's confusing. This isn't really working out. Who does that on a run? <laughs> so he can run away? That's actually kind of genius. You should see other people. <laughs> oh. She's so pretty. Yeah. Even pretty people. And that's if I'm lucky. Is she in love with a hamburger? No, it's not how these commercials are. <laughs> <go. laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be like. <laughs> That's true. That is true. I like the wise brother. She has daddy issues because of you. Yeah. Also, it's never just a guy, Dad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's a great message right there. I like that. I love that they're like, let's have a family dinner at Jollibee. Yeah, man. Fucking Jollibee. <laughs> oh, fried chicken. We gotta go to Jollibee. Yeah. You'll love it. You'll love it. great message that's a great message that's pretty sweet that's a great message come on you're when are you gonna get an american commercial like that 
I, I was actually just going to say that looks exactly like half the McDonald's commercials that I've seen. Half the McDonald's commercials? The other half are the like, aesthetic, you know, The aesthetic, but the story and the message, yeah, come on. Yeah, but, you know, do you remember that Super Bowl commercial um, a while back about the McGriddle? And it was like two people that work at McDonald's. <laughs> and she's obviously into him. And she's trying to tell him, like, you know, uh, you should pay attention to what's in front of you. You know, and she's like eating the McGriddle. And he's like, what? And it's just like that. It's like, by love, would you not, don't expect it? I don't know. I don't really remember your McGriddle commercial. Okay. You seem to <laughs> really remember. This was like 10 years ago, I think. That is an old-ass commercial. You're she talking. has a mole. But just when I'm getting here, I think that's a beautiful message. It's I kind think of, it is. It's kind of like a psychological story in a way. Yeah. Because so many times you'll meet people, men and women, who are looking for love because they don't feel the love from their family. And there's all this psychological problematic upbringing. So they're trying to fix it by finding the right person person but mm -hmm. if you can learn to appreciate the current life you have now self-love yourself then you could find a healthy true love do you have self-love no no <laughs> i have a i'm in a very toxic if relationship we right now we wouldn't be in, gosh, on youtube i am miserable oh, i gosh. seek validation everywhere i go <laughs> i do believe in the message of that i also believe in the message of food i'm pretty yeah. hungry i say let's go Dude, to what's you the would Jujibis? love jolly J I would, Jujibis. Jujibis. jolly meat they're jolly delicious meat. it's like filipino fast food but they have fried chicken they got I love burgers fried they got fries i, love I know I what love this woman fries. loves to eat she can pack on a heavy ass fried meal i do oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. the thumbnail right there. I want to go to Jollibee with you, yeah. Let's go. Is there one nearby? <laughs> White woman with me in Jollibee. <laughs> ah! <laughs> let's go soon. Let's make it. Uh, let's make a friendship date. I was gonna say let's make a date, but neither. Yeah. Neither. I make <laughs> our <laughs> significant others feel very happy. Yeah. <laughs> and then we let's just it. make a date online. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Day before Valentine's yeah. Day, we announced we're going um, on the day. Do you have something to tell me? <laughs> All right, well, let's watch another okay, one, Stacy. Let's Stacey. do it. I'm excited. All right, this one's called Signs. Signs. Is there aliens in it? I wish. Is it? Uh, but Mel Gibson's in this Filipino commercial. Shut up. That would no. be so cool. <laughs> it's just him in a foil hat in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Mel talks? Gibson in the corner right there? Shut up. <laughs> Lay off me. I'm starving. <laughs> They're all kind of different. Okay. Is someone saying star? I like that. Yeah. Signs. Signs. I don't know favorite number of a star. That's a beautiful name. Hey. Yung pangat ng lalaking dadaan siya. Siya na ang the one for you. That's a terrible method. That's a terrible method. Ooh. Oh. Chemistry oh, class. Chemistry class. <laughs> Signs. I love that he's in slow mo. <laughs> wow. He walks into the fountain. <laughs> Talk to him. Stop just staring. He's really close. Oh. <laughs> He's like really comfortable in her. He her, is. Her He's space. like really in her physical space. He's like, yeah, did it start early? <laughs> <laughs> Who is your soulmate? What? what? These are signs, lady. It's gonna be heartbreaking, I feel it. He's gay. Okay, universe. Pag pupunta din siya ng Jollibee, siya na ka for me. Hi. Saan ka? Punta Jollibee. Go. Dun din. Tara. Si Star nga pala, classmate ko. Stacey star, Star, si Stacey. Girl, girl, girl. What, he's talking about her? I guess so. They don't even have conversations. They have spaghetti there? Now I really need to go. I love spaghetti. Oh no. Aw, 
lost star. Oh, that guy's lonely too. I think that's one of her you know, friends. You <laughs> don't? That is a bold line. <laughs> Yeah, like this guy's jokes. <laughs> he is cheesy. <laughs> oh, he likes her. Wow, that looks great. Signs. It was him all along. Then it was him. He was the third guy. Oh. It's like a saw twist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so corny. I love it. I love the That's cheese. Cute. See, this just like a McDonald's. They fade to red. There's a message. Yeah. The signs may have misled you. True love will find you. Those signs may have misled you. True love will find you. So this is a message, rare scenario for a guy. Yeah. Normally dudes are just friend zone. I'm the master of getting friend zone. I can teach a class on it. How does one get friend zone? Oh, it's easy. Like... You care about the girl. <laughs> you talk to her about her feelings and you show her attention and then you're just a good friend. They don't want to ruin that with, friendship with you. With some <laughs> yeah. other asshole at Jolly Bean's spaghetti. That's how you do it, man. Some girls respond to it. It's rare. But I've been friend zoned by many girls. Mm. I love it. I'm that. I'm. I'm the. Uh, what's this guy's name? Who's the guy? John's. I don't know, but her name is Star, and I thought that was cute. His name means to be hard. <laughs> <laughs> to be hard. They both need to have Joms. Oh, Joms. That's, that's a cute. Ah, oh, Joms. That's like a nickname for someone. Hey, Joms. Uh, Joms. Joms is here. Good old Joms. <laughs> I'm telling you, Stacey, last year, the ones I watched, I watched two that had me bawling. They were What? Because they, they, they were not, like, corny, romantic ones. Like, I'm enjoying these, but the la ones last year were, like, heartbreaking, serious-ass ones that Dang. really got me emotional. I'm going to need to watch these. Are these on the YouTubes? Yeah. And if okay. you see my reaction, I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> it's nice that this year, Jollibee's mixing it up with some actual yeah. loving stuff for Valentine's Day. some responses, like, yeah, thanks. Yeah. thanks Thanks a lot, Jolly Bees. I don't want to yeah. split my wrists. How about we have something <laughs> a little happier? And here we are. This is female-driven commercials. Yeah. Female empowerment here. Yeah. Because first one we watched was about a girl learning to love herself. Second one was about knowing how to truly pay attention to the signs and to the guys who are actually interested in you. I think these are more psychological than people and are well, giving it credit don't for. Don't after guys with a girlfriend. Don't. Just wait until some creep comes up and says, Hey, hey, let me put my jacket over you and touch your boob. He was totally touching her boob. Yeah, you just touched my boob. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. She couldn't even feel it. That's how little muscle I have there. <laughs> These are psychological studies because girls are drawn to emotionally unavailable guys all the time. He's emotionally available. He's putting himself out there. It's a good thing she's opening up her heart because she's settling Open for second her place. Heart. <laughs> yeah. Her heart. That was such a bold line. But she reacted to it well, man. She's she like, wasn't the, like... No, she goes, the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> stupid line this is. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute, John. I'm going to start using that. I'm into it. Spaghetti. What did he say? It was like a relaxing food? Yeah, I yeah. think that was just a good line to throw in there to Cheesy. get a close-up shot of that delicious looking spaghetti. I had spaghetti yesterday. Oh, I love spaghetti. I love Do spaghetti. Do you put butter in your spaghetti? What is wrong with you? <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> I do. I put butter. Have just you like... checked your cholesterol lately? No, I went to the doctor who said I was fine. <sighs> healthy as him, and you he's do, in his forties, so do I'm crazy. as healthy as a forty-year-old. <laughs> All right, here, last one. Homecoming. Okay. Get it? Another true story. I don't believe that. It's been quite a while. Oh, an old couple. They're not that old. They're Filipino. They, they That's age true. They well. might be aged. They we age don't know. Well. <laughs> Wait. 
What? Was he just gonna walk up to that girl? The cop's like, I really needed that pick me up. I just saw a dead body. <laughs> This guy's just feeling really lonely on Valentine's Day. She looks like, um, what's her face in the breakfast club after she's gotten a makeover with like her headband. Oh she's yeah, the basket case. Yeah. You gotta, gotta, gotta make cups, a dirty cups, joke. <laughs> She should have started sucking on the ice cream. What do you see? A craft restaurant. Yum, come on your face. Uh, this is like a flashback to when they were younger. What was what with the old couple? He's like, I practice, babe. I think that's her parents or something. His parents. You're supposed to help me. He's gonna help her though. Wow, he is efficient. <laughs> he is super duper efficient. <laughs> <laughs> He's the buffest nerd I've ever seen. Yeah, he's, he's like, I'm sorry, I'm so awkward, my muscles are too big. Hold my arms like this so yeah. you can see the definition. <laughs> Quit going home with this guy. Yeah. If someone's a dick, don't be with them. Oh, now this guy is sad. I love how she, she dressed like it's in the 50s. That's why I'm thinking this is a flashback. I don't think it's a... Oh, maybe... To the old oh, couple. Oh, like the old couple is this couple. Yeah, why else would they show the old couple? She's gonna have a burger now. She's gonna give him a burger. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. The cop's gonna be like, I thought I was the only one. <laughs> yeah. CGI young face. A heart that a heart loves. That loves never gets tired. True love never gives up. It's not true. What if you're like fighting with the woman you love and then you're just like. Yeah, also oh, hearts God, get tired. Know. People have heart attacks. People have heart attacks. They go to sleep permanently sometimes. We all die. We all. We That's are, the message. Hearts, we, oh, all we all die. Everyone's <laughs> hearts get tired and. And keep Give eating out. Jolly Bee. <laughs> if, you yeah. keep, if you keep eating Jolly Bee, you're going to die faster. If I keep eating yeah. butter and my spaghetti. <laughs> my spaghetti. Man, this guy was a buff ass nerd. That's what he I was, was really taking from it, dude. Look at these arms. Look at the definition. I know. I mean, when he like drops everything. Yeah, he's like, oh, oh, I was oh, like, oh, damn, oh. this dude's like buff. Look, look at look that. Look how strong Dang. he is. You're so strong. You can it's hold strong. all those little paper. At least cover things. up how, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like rolling up his sleeve. Yeah. Off. Like, uh, oh, uh, no. Uh, I'm, I'm shy. <laughs> I drop things. I'm awkward. I have glasses. I thought this was the, the weakest one of them all. I mean, it's a cool message to know that their true love did last forever. High school sweethearts. I don't meet too many actual high school sweethearts. I like that they did like a memento thing. They like worked backwards in yeah. the story. You it's, don't know it's cool structured. What's, where it is and what's happening, what timeline. Yeah, because uh, I mean, I, I picked up on it pretty quick. You were like, no, no, no. <laughs> It's her parents, right? I was like, it's not a flashback. That's stupid. No, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> but you predicted the uh, burger. I did predict the burger. I did I, predict. I, it. I love these because I haven't been to the Philippines since I was three years old. I've never been. Well, you would fit right in. I was. <laughs> you got like, fried yeah, chicken ear. You guys like jolly food, me too. Young, come on your face. 
You <laughs> come out your face! This American woman won't shut up and die. <laughs> this commercial makes me think that the way to find true love is um, take a chick to Jollibee. Yeah. <laughs> that's where like, all the love it's is. It's cost efficient and easy to find love at Jollibee. I haven't been at Jollibee in so many years. Stacey, you gotta go. I want to go. You were is talking about like... possibly moving to Glendale. There's at least two in Glendale. Ooh, fuck yeah. Because Filipinos are everywhere in Glendale. I we that own was that. Uh, it's Filipinos and Armenians. Okay. Seriously, it, it really is. Okay. If you're from the Philippines watching this video, move to Glendale, Eagle Rock area. You'll fit right in okay. with all the Filipinos, cool, Armenians. Cool. My whole sure. Filipino side's on Glendale. Let's go have dinner yeah. with them at Jollibee. <laughs> yeah, that would be comfortable. Be this great. is my non-girlfriend, white friend here with me today. To I'm watch. the white friend of <laughs> yeah. Guys, thanks for telling us this was out. Happy Valentine's Day to the whole world. Lord knows I'm going to be broke of that day. You can subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell to get notified every time one of our videos is up. Follow Stacy Howard at Stacy O. Howard on Instagram and Twitter, yo. And check out our Patreon. A lot of fun, exclusive perks over there and exclusive videos. Good day. I feel like I should keep moving my hand with you. Yeah. I don't know, what I don't know. This is awkward movement. Like my shoulder is tense and I do this stuff with my hand. I'm trying to be more expressive with my hands. I feel like that's the key to a good present presenter. What if we just pointed the camera at like a boy band and you know how they get like close, you know? You're just a little person. You're just a little person. <laughs> <laughs>